Hello. It's Friday after work. It's very dusty. It's a mad old storm and shit around. I can't remember where I left off on the last one. Um, I have started putting stuff back together. All the shift linkages have basically started from here and worked my way around. I'm now putting back in the aircon at the minute. Um, yeah, get the rest of it buttoned up and sure, hopefully I'll get it started this evening. That'll be nice, real nice. And then I'll service it tomorrow and yeah, send it around the block a couple of times, see if she's ready for a road birdie. Mm. All right, ready to go. Well, there's no radiator in the drive shafts aren't in, but we'll give her a... Now, so as I was saying before the camera died, I now have it on a battery pack and um, ready to start. I've everything on, just put the battery in while I put the camera on charge and let it get a minute or two before I hit record. So hopefully there's a bit of charge in it. No. No, that battery's dead. Oh sure, I'll give it a go. There's no radiator or exhaust or anything wired up so She runs. <laughs> Don't like it. Very loud, but just straight off the manifold. <laughs> right, time to button up the other shit. Nearly time for a drive. Nice. Hey, she's running. Just burping it all out. With a little chirp in the belt here. Might need to just tighten it up a little bit. But, yeah, she's running. Just burping it. Bleed out. Oh, she's getting there. Oh, yeah, that's nice and warm. She's halfway up on the gauge. Ah, oh, happy days. It's nearly there. Which one is turbine? Oh well. Now we're gonna clean it all out because if you remember from the last video, in under the rocker was very thick with all old oil and shit. So first one is extreme oil flush, pro strength. So that you need to dump it all into the oil system before you drain anything. Leave it running for about fifteen minutes. It says. And then stop it, drain the oil, put a new filter and fresh oil in. Radiator flush. I really need this as well because a lot of bits of shit came out of it. So one bottle for every 10 litres capacity and run the engine for 20 minutes. One hour maximum. So I reckon I'll put these all in and I've got a petrol system cleaner as well. Now this does like a full tank of fuel. Um, 60 litres so there's three quarters of a tank in I'm just gonna dump the whole bottle in drive it for a few days and then I have a fuel filter here as well for it so I'll stick the fuel filter in there in a week or so after I drive that tank of fuel out of it so yeah let's pour these all in and oh I'm gonna have to drain a bit of the coolant actually to fit that in but yep let's get them all in and leave it running for 20 minutes down the hatch. Take a whole lot. So, we've 
we've had about 20 minutes of running already. What is that in there? Um, yes, we're running about 20 minutes. And not a grip underneath it, which is always a good sign. Yeah, I'll give it another 10 minutes of watching it and then I'll knock it all off and start training. Mm. very liquid anyway that stuff tins it all out so it's very black looking for being fresh oil it's a good sign it must be after taking a load of gunk out of it I might pop the rocker cover off and have a look underneath it now again see how much it managed to clean right so can't get the oil filter off it's absolutely wedged on well I could get it off could bash a screwdriver through it but I'm not going to do that because that gets very messy so I'm going to just have a look at it it's still pretty hot so I might just pop the valve cover off and have a look inside and see how much cleaning it did make it and uh, yeah I'll go down I'll get an oil filter removal tool tomorrow I did try to strap everything but nah not working so oh well So, it actually did clean it up a fair bit. Yeah, there's not as much gunk sitting in there. You can see how watery the oil is. So, yeah. Yeah, kind of impressed with it. If you can remember from the last video, I might just stick a little side by side in here. So you can see it was pretty gunked up, but now she's looking a lot fresher. Well, a little bit fresher, but that's all I'm going to do on it. I'm not interested in going full bore on this one. Bit rough this morning. Jack's wedding last night. Great crack. I can't remember where I was when I left off with this. I reckon I'm gonna have to put another radiator flush through it because I left it in it. The radiator pipes were still really hot. Didn't bother doing it. Went on the piss. And now I don't know where I was. Uh, I remember where I was. I couldn't get the bloody oil filter off last night. So. I finally got it off, oh, that's still dropping out, yeah, finally got it off now. <laughs> right, so, yes, I got the oil filter out, but the oil filter that I've got has this bloody end on it. So that's not right, I'm going to have to go back down and change that one. Oh yeah, yeah, you should be able to see that. I think that plug is melted into the hole. That's great news. Right, so it wasn't the plug that was melted into the head, it was... Either the rubber out of a plug socket or the base off one of the leads. It's not any of them leads, they're all still there. As it should be. Yeah, uh, no, that's the same as all the rest of them. Yeah. The rubber's still in that. Yeah, no, it's been lifting them out, so yeah. if somebody's lost the rubber out of their. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, she's fairly crispy. She's been in there a while, I'd say. Yes. So, ah, delighted, at least the spark plug's not part of the head. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, really didn't like the thought of that one. So, yeah, more of these bloody... Oil filter's boxes. still no good, though. Yeah, oil filter's still no good. Right, trip the super cheap. So, back after going for a spin around the block, and as the usual, Honda, engine management. So, vehicle speed sensor. There's only two wires on it, so uh, is it not? No, there's another oh. one that's meant to be an absolute point on the spot to get that. Yeah, uh, it says it's in here somewhere. Yeah. It says there's another one in there somewhere. We'll do a bit of investigating. Yeah. Even the Honda man doesn't know anything about this Honda. <laughs> we only had one of these, and it was the older model. Yeah. So we're all learning. 
what up just finishing this video off forgot to do an outro as usual only in from work it's all done all the flushes are done everything's ready to go i have a vehicle speed sensor as you've seen at the end there so i need to get one of them or figure out how to make that one work but um yeah that's about it i'm gonna take friday off so i can bring it in and get it ready old and then she'll be on the road full time thank god it's about time so yeah peace out until the next time all 20 of you watching grab a mate's phone and hit that subscribe button too